Hi, Fidel from All Sim Baseball here. Uh, in this tutorial, we're just going to show you a quick setup of the real-time simulation feature that OOTP has. OOTP 16, 15, I believe 14, and 13 also have the same feature, and it's basically the same thing, and it allows uh, you to set up a simulation at home, and uh, it'll just play at whatever speed you want it to play. And uh, you can go go about your daily life and check the scores on on your mobile phone, whatever whatever uh, device you have. Maybe at at work, you want to just check your scores. You want to broadcast things to all your league members and let them follow along. Uh, it's a really great feature to uh, to enable and to use, especially for online leagues. So let's take a look at how to do that. The first thing you need to do is uh, uh, navigate to the uh, scores page or the the upcoming schedule or the scores page it doesn't really matter but from here we're going to go to the play button and then we're gonna start here with setup RTS online broadcast and, and uh, if either of these are kind of grayed out it means that uh, you don't have any games scheduled that day and if you check your schedule, if it looks blank here, there's no games to be played that day, you're going to have to sim forward in time to get to a day where you have games to play. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we'll set everything up here by clicking Set Up RTS Online Broadcast. First one, we're going to go to Activated. I'm going to leave everything as is, broadcast every 60 seconds. Actually, I'll change that to 30 seconds. It doesn't need to broadcast so often. Even one minute, every minute is fine. Uh, I'm going to choose just my major league, and uh, let's see. We have uh, yeah, we we have the choice to do game logs, and uh, we can actually uh, tell it to go to a, a different folder. But we we can just leave it as is because it's already going to put it into th this folder here, the real time sim folder on your website so the game is pretty smart it will fill this in by itself so there's nothing that you need to do so you can just leave that as is and uh, let's go ahead and test the broadcast okay it says test completed it found the directory everything's okay so we'll click OK and now it's gonna open my web browser to the URL of the page where the broadcast is going to be. So let's take a look. Yep, everything looks good. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and copy this and uh, email that URL out to all of my league members, and they can follow along and watch the watch the broadcast. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, actually broadcast some games here. So go back to play start real-time simulation is what we're gonna click but just a moment before I do that we're gonna choose a speed we'll go uh, factor 10 and uh, target date we'll go one day ahead to March 30th because today is March 29th we'll go ahead and sim to March 30th at a factor, a speed factor of 10, so it's about 10 times faster than an average game, but at least we're going to be able to see some uh, changes in scores relatively quickly for this tutorial. You can play with it and uh, decide what speed you like, on, uh, depending on uh, how fast you want it to finish and how many days you want to include, but uh, let's go ahead and practice with just a factor of 10. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click start real-time simulation so here we go it's started okay okay so things are just now getting going let's go back to my web browser here I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page and see if anything shows up oh there we go and uh, as long as we're on this page it should it should self refresh uh, I think the games had just started, so nothing is happening yet. But let's see. 
Okay, games are kind of going slowly. Uh, we look up here, factor of 10. Uh, I see, okay, no, games are just now getting going on this side, so what do we have here? Let's, go, let's uh, speed up the factor to 20. You can see the little clock here. That's how fast uh, the time is going. The minutes are just flying by. So, okay, now we, we should be able to see some changes. Let's go back to this page. Uh, yep, it's, it's updated. Scoring updates. Okay, yep, you can see it's refreshing on its own. We see top performers. We see some things going on here. We actually see, well, everything's still in the first inning here. But I think we'll have a, another update in about another 10 seconds. Of course, you can always click the refresh button by yourself, which I'll do. And there we go. We got some scoring updates. Finally, somebody scored, so this part started to fill in. We see, we see, uh, we're going into the second inning here. Things look good. Kind of see what's going on here. And go back. Okay, now let's see. We have Saitama and Hokkaido. They're going into the third inning because uh, the factor of 20 is really moving things along pretty quickly. Um, the web is going to be a little bit slower, but uh, yeah, you see score really hasn't updated here so you'll probably have to strike a balance between the speed factor you use and uh, how often the page refreshes so all of those we can we can actually pause and we can, we can keep that simulation pace we can actually go back to setup we can change that to every 20 seconds Click OK, and then continue. So now we've slowed down the factor, the speed factor, and we speeded up the refresh rate. So I'm just going to refresh it manually. But you can see that you can control the refresh rate, and you can control the, the simulation speed. And that's pretty much it. That is how you set up and use the real-time simulation feature in, in OOTP. And uh, thanks for watching.